Okay, so here we go. It is a 66 GDO convertible, and he has a fuel injection system on top of his tri power manifold. We've got MSD and Pertronics ignition. And he said the blue and color is actually Bondo with sparkles in it. Bondo with sparkles, a time-honored tradition. Nice big aluminum radiator there. So we are set to go, and then we have got uh, some oversized wheels back here too, and an 8-track. Everybody should have an 8-track, plus assorted gauges. So we just popped in here all of a sudden because it was a uh, car show. We were going, driving to see a uh, Faye Bainbridge State Park. And as we were coming by here, we noticed that this church has a car show, and they have the car show in May, June, July, and August, last Tuesday evening of each month. And uh, so, yeah, it's a nice little car show. They draw some very nice stuff here. There's a 69Z28 over there, and there's a, a Malibu SS on the other side of that. So there is... GTO there. Here's an old like 64 or so Falcon. Might have a six cylinder or a 260, I think, or 289. There's another, uh, what is it, a Chevelle or a Malibu? I think that one's a Malibu. No, it's a Chevelle with the old American mags on it. And so here is an old uh, sedan. I think, what is, is that a Ford? Ford or Chev, what is it? Ford. Yeah, so that's nice, nice chrome on the front of it. This here, this is a classic, a Royal Lancer. I think, what is it, DeSoto? Beautiful interior. Very nice. Beautiful paint. And that's one thing I like about these old cars. It's a Dodge Hemi. 1955 Washington State Classic license plate. <laughs> so I guess that this year would be a 1932. That's the date on the plate. <coughs> and as you can see, it has been shot at in the past. I like those little stickers. So yeah, this is a beauty. Nice paint. Very nice paint. Thank you. Is it yours? Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I knew there was some lucky devil out here somewhere. It's the um, restored with the correct colors. Okay. Even the fabric on the seat uh -huh. is reproduction, but it's the same stuff from the cab that was when it left the showroom. Uh-huh. I've seen a shot of the catalog with that same exact yes. stuff. Same upholstering on it? Yeah. Great. <laughs> yeah, I just love how, you know, they just don't do the nice chrome anymore. You know, it's yeah. just everything, it looks like a jelly bean going down the road with wheels on it. Yeah. Um, have you got the uh, crossover carburetors on this? No? It's just a pop-up if you want. Sure, that'd be nice. So oh, okay. It's got the, you know, the, the Hemi style, you know, valve uh -huh. carburetors. Sure. Uh, I still have the original manifold, the two-barrel, but it's been upgraded to four. But right. But, you know, the end, it's the original block, Hemi block. Okay. It was gone through, uh, nothing crazy, just, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, so they did that. They give you a two-barrel engine, but it was still a Hemi engine. Yeah. Really? Huh. The engines were easy to work on, huh? Which kind of wasn't a, a much, you know, it's still like, to me, a little underpowered, but I baby it anyway. So yeah. I don't do anything harsh. Or yeah. Try it's just so nice to see such a clean space with the engine. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. So I tell you, you've upgraded the brakes to a dual master cylinder, and uh, yeah, you know what I did? I had Aaron when I got it because it weighs 
so much. It, yeah. was, a, it was a little hard to uh, stop. Okay. So, uh, so just the way people drive and step off the curb. And sure. Areas and stuff. So uh, I switched the front drums to disc. Okay. So that's why that's different. Right. Okay. Well, I'm not going to see it through those. No. <laughs> but yeah, look at those nice disc brakes. <laughs> but they do make a lot of mess. Yeah. Oh yeah, the powder yeah. Uh, abrasive. Yeah. yeah. Well, you got a beauty here. I gotta say. Looks like a, okay, Edelbrock carburetor, Offenhauser manifold. Very nice. Oh, your radiator cap's off. Did it fall down under here at all? Ugh. Yeah, I don't see it under there. Yeah, I'm sure I, I'm sure I didn't put it on good. I checked like two weeks ago. Yeah, <laughs> do, you, do you have far to go? No. Okay. I'll just uh, get another one. Yeah, well, well, yeah, you'll, you know, just baby it along, you'll be fine. Oh, man, I'm glad you pointed that out. Mm hmm. Now, do you need to, uh, you know, some, some of us, we need to write notes to remind ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, nice to meet you. Uh, beautiful car you got. Enjoy it for many more years. Not, nice dodge on the fingertips. <laughs> okay. Well, let's go try and catch a couple more cars. Bye, Have a nice... Is it coming? Huh? This is the old uh, 40 Ford Coupe. Those are always a favorite. Camino SS. Oh, here you go. Just like uh, Roger and my brother's old bike, a Moto Guzzi. I'm not sure. If, I think he had a larger bike, but uh, he sure loved it. He had a sidecar with his. There you go, the Maverick Grabber. It was the uh, performance version of the Maverick. Four speed. Automatic. Looks like a manual, but it's uh, automatic. Very nice. <laughs> I knew a guy that had one of these and he came over the Stevens Pass and he hit a deer and the antler from the deer broke off in the middle of his windshield. That was an interesting topic of conversation. Here's Willie from the movie Cars, Sergeant something or another. Four wheel drive, there's the pumpkin up front. Cute little thing. Then here's like a ZZ Top car, Edelbrock. Aluminum heads, Chevy engine. I don't know if it's a Ford or car or a Chevy car. Two breather caps, Moroso valve covers. And it might be a fuel injected model too. I don't know for sure. I can't tell the way I used to. Oh, uh, yeah, probably. Oh, there you go. Newer Falcon, or not Falcon, Nova with a uh, dual quads on it. And a blower. There you go. Now you're playing with power. Oh, you don't. You, Just don't you, you take it out on nice days. So that's pretty cool. I like it. Did that already take over? Uh, I don't know. I think it was. We've got our taco meter there on the steering wheel and yeah very sweet hmm yeah okay so he's got so it's like a pro street wide meat slicks in the back the uh, exhaust exits exhausts in front of the rear wheel you see the pipes there 
So that's a nice, nice, cool black car. <clears throat> what? Where? Oh, yeah. There's that uh, 40 Ford Coupe. <clears throat> oh, yeah. <clears throat> That's the uh, drug dog that went and tested Hunter Biden's house. <clears throat> M3 BMW. Maximum wide angle. So here is the GTO Judge. I don't remember what year this is. Ram Air 4. Rambler Rogue. So these are a cool old car. And there you have the original Magnum Ferrari 308. My personal favorite. I figure if my Magnum could fit in there, a big fat guy like me ought to be able to squeeze in there. And here you go, the last, no, it's not the last year of the Fiero, or is it? But I like Fieros. Let me get to the other side. Uh, that's going to be all shadowed out. So there you go, Fiero GT. I think they made them for like three, four years. But it was a nice car. And I guess they actually went very well. They gave uh, some of the like Corvettes and Camaros a run for their money. And I guess that that was an unintended thing because they didn't want a cheap car competing with their upper line cars. Okay. Here's the old classic Volkswagen Beetle. And then there's always the old 50... The dog is 80% hmm. wolf, the vet said. Oh? Hmm. Yeah. So 57 Thunderbird, um, I thought these were supposed to have the porthole, but that might be a different year, porthole on the hardtop. So this would be a really cool car to get. Ford came out with their retro Thunderbird, but it just didn't have the cool, uh, yeah, yeah. It's just the 57 should have a, a round porthole there, I believe. It might be the different top. So, very cool. A favorite car. And then there's the old Chevy pickup truck here. Huh? Oh, I saw that. Pontiac GTO. Yeah, it's a GTO Judge. So, I don't know if this is... I think they had like a 235 straight six. I had a 292 in my old Chev pickup and it was a beauty. It had really good torque. Okay, so I think that's about it. We've captured the gist of it. And then the Carmen Ghia, that was a cool car too, for sale. 
612-242-4384. Call or text. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and there goes the Rambler. Has a nice little sound to it. Um, I don't know. 60s, anyway. 67. And it has, I believe, a 290. And that's got a nice little uh, sound to it. And of course, a c classic Mazda Miata. All right, that concludes this car show. Yeah.